care about that at all? Were you expecting? Yeah. Yeah. You know, we gotta, you know, expect. You know, it's gonna be a hostile crowd. You know, as it should be. You know, it's on their home floor. You know, it was like that when we played at home. So we we understand that. Then. What do you expect? How loud do you, what, what do you think it's going to be like? Tomorrow? I think it's going to be loud, but, you know, we can't worry about their fans. You know, we got to go out there, understand, you know, we playing for one another. You know, every, everybody else against us. You know, the crowd, the opposing team, and, you know, we just got to fight that. Joe Jones was saying that the only reason that Landry Fields was successful was because he was just a fresh body. No, he said that. No. I mean, that's what Landry do, man. He's a great defender. You know, he's a big body, strong. You know, if Landry would have played every single game, he would have went out there and played the same way. In my opinion, you know, that's just the type of guy, energy, guy energy Landry has. Kyle was saying, how difficult is it to guard Joe Johnson one-on-one? -on -one? I mean, it's definitely tough. You know, he's definitely a big body. He can handle the ball well. And, you know, it, it's tough once he get, get, get the moving going downhill, you know. Um, you know, that's why, you know, it's, it's not just a one-man job. You know, it's a team thing. Try to get keep the ball out of his hand, double team him. You know, little things like that. But it's definitely tough one-on-one. -on -one. Do you feel any tension at all? Like, knowing that this is going to be your first road playoff game? I mean, you guys were so good on the road right. this year. I mean, nah. You know, I think all the tension, whatever we had, was in game one. You know, we, we wiped all that out clean. Wiped the slate clean. We understand what every single game is going to be like. It's going to be a battle, whether we home or away. And we understand that. You've had Riley always said, no rebounding, no rings. How have you guys been able to have such an edge on the glass? I mean, you, you got Amir out there with Paul Pierce. You know, Amir is a big, you know, um, uh, and, you know, Brooklyn play a little bit unconditional with, you know, four smalls. So we got to take advantage of that. You know, JV been doing a great job when Amir in there. All our bigs come in there. You know, we, we tend to have two bigs out there most of the time, and it, they they usually have one. So um, just pounding the glass, taking advantage of that. With the identity of this team, how critical is that element going to be in this series? Definitely critical. It's, it's definitely big because, like I said, you, you, you rarely see them play two bigs. And, you know, that's one thing we, we constantly can take advantage of out there on the floor. It's not like you haven't, you guys haven't played in loud atmospheres this whole season. You know, KC, that whole West Coast trip, the guys played in hostile atmospheres. Why did it work on the road this season? What is it about the road that's the best on you? Because we understand, you know, we don't, you know, you want to call it an underdog, whatever you want to call it. You know, we go in there with that mindset. You know, we feel like everybody is against us, and we out there to, to go against everybody. You know, that's our mindset, honestly. Every time we step on the road, you know, you'll see us before the name introductions. We come in, um, and because we understand that it's just us. You know, we going against everybody else soon that tip ball go up. Nice you guys. You guys that energy the crowd yeah. yeah, you know, you can feed off it. You know what I mean? With, with us being professional athletes, you kind of feed off, you know, sometimes, you know, playing well, doing something the opposing crowd might not like. You know, you take advantage of that. You know, you go out there and have fun and play basketball. You, you really don't think too much into it. You know, and I think that's that's what's so good about us. It doesn't seem like you guys are really concerned. Neil Barnett's been talking a lot about how they're going to handle the crowd. Cause the I, I don't care what he say, honestly, man. I, I, I don't care. He's he been talking trash way before I've been in the league, and he's going to talk trash way before I, I, I'm out. Uh, you know, when he out the league, now I'm out the league. So, hey, that's him. Lamar, success of the team aside, personal success aside, how has this year been different compared to previous years in terms of the attitude and the mentality and that team concept you were talking about? Earlier? Um, I think every every single person just buying in and nobody have having egos. Everybody just going out there one and one go, and everybody you know felt felt the the negative energy we always used to get from the critics or whatever you want to call it. Everybody used that as motivation. Use it as motivation. You see guys working their butts off every single day to get better and figure out ways to make this team better. And once you put that together as a collective group, you know, it, it, it comes together well. And then when you factor in the team success and the personal success, does that just sort of take it then to another level? Because you start, I don't know, believing that much more and it just... Yeah, every, every step of the way we start to believe because, you know, we all understand if, if we all, if if the team do well, we all do well in the division. You know, that's the attitude every single guy has. That's why you see guys who probably haven't played in a while come in and play with a high confidence because we, you know, that's the type of energy we feed to one another.